Hey y'all, it's David Ducker coming back at you. Today, we're going to be talking about selling. I had a wonderful selling experience uh, in, uh, in our last session. Legends of the Seven Sands, one shot. You had a player, uh, Juve Carmichael, from uh, Central California, Central Cali, uh, over Google Hangouts. We were running this game. I, I was running the game. But, uh, but he was being a boss in the game in the best way. Uh, not a boss monster, because we know that's not the best way. But he displayed excellent selling uh, with this game. I'll, I'll define selling again. Selling is just reacting to whatever happened, to making it believable, to making it more real, make it feel more real, even though we all know it's not, it's make-believe. But if it can feel real just for a minute. So in this game, uh, Juve's character was a uh, fighter wizard, it was Pathfinder. So we know that's not an optimal build. We know he's going to get, uh, he's going to have problems. He's going to get beat up. And as we're going through, he did get beat up. I don't know if it's Juve or his character, but uh, there was very little tactical sense. He didn't seek cover. Uh, he didn't try to uh, gang up on enemies. Uh, he didn't use the optimized weapon or, or armor, so he was getting beat badly. He's getting uh, stabbed and, and s s slammed and just just beat down and poisoned. There was poison involved as well. And as a GM who'd never played with Juve, I'm thinking to myself, oh man, he's gonna get mad at me as a GM because his character is gonna is getting his ass kicked. Uh, but he didn't. He did, you know, he sold. He did the best possible thing. And he sold how he got beat down, how it hurt, and the pain, and the crunch of the bones, and his teeth, and the blood running in his eye, and he can't see. And he, he grips his teeth, and he fights back, and he fights back. And then he gets beat down, and he falls again. And he's weary, and he's panting, and he, he fights back, and he grits his teeth, and he never quits. He has fighting spirit. He never quits. And I was like, Juve, you're, oh, you're awesome. You're bringing it home with this character, right? And, and that's what you should always be doing. Whatever happens, react to it. You know, he wasn't doing much, but he was reacting to everything that was going on. So he was like the star. He had all the spotlight. People cared about his character. And the other characters started to care about his character, uh, even though they didn't know him, in or out of character. You know, they're like giving him magic items, healing potions. You know, they got to keep him alive, even if it costs him their lives, because he's so entertaining and he's so much fun to have at the table. Uh, and I, I, that was just awesome. And I, I did a post thanking Juve and letting everybody know on the OSG, uh, you know, how wonderful he was in that session. Uh, and also with role playing. Uh, because we have uh, basically like a mad cultist, and he is praying to his god, and the players snuck up on him, and they heard his mad prayers, and and uh, then they called him out and said, "Hey, you're crazy!" And and he turned around, and he's like, "I'm not crazy, and I've just been put down by you people, and you've wronged me, and the things that you've done to me have driven me to this." And and, uh, you know, it's a nice little speech. I was really in character with this mad cultist um, who, you know, as he said, himself said, he wasn't really crazy. He's just desperate, uh, emotionally desperate. And all the other players are like, oh, okay, well. But Juve is like, this man's been put down by us. Did we do this to this man? You know, and I was like, oh, Juve, you're the MVP of RPGs on the OSG because uh, he did such a great job. He had that self-doubt. He sold for this cultist and, and he made that cultist seem legitimate or at least the question, could he be legitimate? As a one-shot, we couldn't explore it in depth, unfortunately, uh, because depth makes it easier to sell. But he didn't need the depth to get to that level because he's such an excellent player. So I wanted to share that experience with you. Uh, and ask, when have you seen great selling, great reacting? How do you get that out of your players? Uh, and if you're a player, can you do it more? Can you get more? Help, uh, help your GM inject drama into the game and help raise that quality up.
with your energy instead of the GM's energy. We don't want to drain our GM's energy. That's how he gets burned out. So I just want to share that experience and remind everyone, keep selling, reacting to whatever happens, especially other players. Make their other players look cool and feel cool and make their choice matter. As a player, you can do this for another player. You don't need the GM. You know, a player can do something badass, and your character can say, oh, that was badass. Or your character can say, that was badass, but well, watch this. And, and, you know, Gimli and Legolas style, uh, you can have a rivalry build up. And that's interaction, entertainment. It doesn't come from the GM, so it saves his energy. It entertains him. It refills his energy bar. So, again, leave your thoughts on that before I ramble for too long. And until I see you again, good day and good gaming.